Do you remember this? Okay, so if you've watched uh, Chef Taj's videos about his 250, for sure you know what this is. If not, now you're gonna see. So this is a wooden rotisserie, these are like, I don't know what we call it, a jig or uh, wings that sometimes I call them wings they get attached to the side of the car and then we are able to flip the car back and, back and forth with them uh, they utilize the points for the doors for the front so here are these two bolts we're gonna mount it here and the rear one goes like this and mounts to the fastening points for the fender here with two or three bolts Hopefully they match, we will see now how everything matches. So I'm going to mount them and I'm going to show you later a little bit more details. So the front one attaches to two of the holes for the door hinges and it has a cutout here. There's a cutout that matches this uh, sail panel, whatever that is called, and a cutout that matches the seal. And uh, it's made out of two layers of half inch plywood and this extension here is mounted with a couple of screws here. It is glued in the first place. It, it uses wood glue here, which is pretty solid. And then also has a few screws here to hold it. So it is pretty solid. The rear one mounts to the fender mounting points. And this is something that is I don't really like, but there's no other way unless you do what Chef Taj did. He actually drilled holes through the whole B post and mounted it with bolts. So now it's mounted with the three screws for the fender. The thing is, uh, you know, the back of the B post here is new. It's a brand new piece that I mounted after market piece. And for some reason, I had to make this hole oval and bring it a little bit lower and the bottom hole I needed to oval it too and bring it a little bit higher the center matches so uh, these the holes as they were originally matched the 70 TR6 that I worked on but here it's a little bit different so anyways this side is mounted and you will see how it works when I start flipping it around uh, but I just wanted to mention that for this wooden rotisserie, I have plants available for free on my website www.rustybeauties.com as you can see here and also they go with a video that you can watch, check that there and um, see how the plants work, how exactly to make them and if uh, that's helpful for you, I'm gonna be really happy that, that I helped somebody to do the restoration. The, the plants are absolutely free, like I said. So anyways, let me mount the other side and then we're gonna take the body off the frame and we're gonna start dealing with body only. Right, the other side is mounted too. And same thing, the front went perfectly okay. For the back, I needed to make this hole a little bit lower and the bottom hole a little bit higher and that worked well so for some reason not all B posts are the same it looks like so if you're using my plans you I have measurements there for these holes where they go but you better check your own car before drill those holes or you just make them over like me and uh, you can adjust them a little bit or just 
drill holes through the entire B post like Chef Tash did. The thing is after that you're gonna have to plug holes here and you have to make your own captive nuts here at the back for the fasteners for the fender or the wing. Anyway, so now you're ready to separate them, the body and the frame. For this reason, we have to make a little bit of room here. We have to move that car a little bit so we can take the car in, uh, in this area because we have an overhead crane here somewhere. I don't even know where it is, but we're gonna use that because it's gonna be easier. I can probably just flip it to the side and get rid of the frame, but I'm not really sure. So we are ready to lift the body, it's hooked up. Let me show you my way of hooking it up. So as you saw, I use the mounting points for the seat belts at the bottom of the B posts. And these are the only two points that I hook the car up to. Uh, many people prefer to have four straps. For me, I don't think it's necessary. Some people use like Chef Touch, for example, uses these holes here for rear fastening points and these over there and here for the front. But you know what? I discovered that once I hook it up there and lift it, the front of the car is so light that I can carry it with just one hand and I don't need a third strap. In cases I need all my hands and I can't carry it, then I just run a third strap to the center somewhere here just to keep it balanced. But honestly, it's not needed and I'm gonna show you now. There's only one problem. My controller for the trainer is on the other side, so I'm gonna flip it. Okay. Okay, so the body is on the floor. Stepping on its own wings. So we will see how we're going to carry it back in the in that room. And this is the frame which I don't know where we're going to put for now. I don't want it on my way. Flip it on your own. It has even one more 
position. Let me show you. Okay. Now I can show you. I can go one more step. So you can work at the bottom of the car without any problem. And if you wish, you can even flip it upside down. That's not a problem too. So again, a short video guys, but like I said, I wanted to have a separate video for the wooden rotisserie that I can link in my website for people who want to use it. And I don't think that I mentioned that in the video, but uh, this is not my idea. This rotisserie was made by somebody else and they posted pictures online, but I never found plans for it. Chef Tash uh, found the pictures and he showed them to me and I made the plans and we made our own rotisseries. And uh, now that I have the plans, I decided to share them with everybody, so everybody can use them now. So, if you need a rotisserie, feel free to go and download the plans. And if you like it, please share with your friends and with other people who restore cars, so they can download them too. So, that's everything guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for commenting and subscribing, and thanks for sharing, because I think you've done a really good job after I asked. So. Keep sharing, <laughs> keep sharing with your friends. That's uh, really great and I'm really thankful for that. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Cheers. Ew, coffee, not a beer.